हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस कंटिन्यू द चैप्टर इंडिया इट्स साइज एंड लोकेशन इन द फर्स्ट मॉडल ऑफ द चैप्टर वी डन इट्स साइज एंड द व्हाई इंडिया हैज अ डिस्टिंक्ट फिजिकल एंड कल्चरल आइडेंटिटी एंड द ज्योग्राफिकल फीचर्स हैव एंश्योर्ड व्हाट थिंग्स अबाउट इंडिया टू कंटिन्यू दिस वी विल स्टार्ट आवर चैप्टर एज आई एम सेइंग यू दैट इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट वी डन दिस इंडिया हैज अ distinct physical and cultural identity in which we done a lot of things now we have to do the b part right yes so in the b part the question of the b part is or what we will do is the the north south extent of india is larger than its uh, east west extent that even though the country's longitudinal and latitudinal extent are same but we see the india is larger from its north south and east west or not uh, that we will do through the some very days like this now vitraj If we see the north, sorry, east-west extent of India, yes. then the east-west extent of India is two nine three three kilometer. Means India east to west is two nine three three kilometer long. Yes. Right. The next is the north to south. We see the north to south, then India is three thousand two hundred and fourteen kilometer from. not to south okay yes. india is 3214 km long yes now again i am writing the latitudinal and longitudinal extent of india right the longitudinal uh, from 8 degree to 37 degree north uh, south to north and from west to east is 68 degree 7 minute east to 97 degree 25 minute east right yes now the total degrees comes here the difference between 8 degree to 37 degree is 30 degree same thing the difference between the 68 degree 97 degree is 30 degree now yes. from degree india from north to south is 30 degree yes extent and similarly from east to west is 30 degree so if my question to you is that what is the shape of india Among these two, square or rectangle. So according to you, the shape of India is if the extent is thirty degree and thirty degree. So it uh, must be a square. Then it must be a square. Yes. Because the difference is thirty and thirty degree. Yes. But it's wrong. It is not square. Why? That's uh, I'm telling you that why it is not square. On Earth, we do that. The latitudes are parallel, but longitudes are not parallel. Right? Okay. They are very close to each other. That Far in equator and then come to over. They are like this, right? Okay. So here we see too much difference. Here they come close. Here too much close, and here too much close. They merge to each other. And then they merge to each other. Yes. Okay. Now equator is here somewhere, and India is here. So the equator line are like this, right? Okay. So here the difference is too much, but here the difference is less. Yes, and that is why here the degree is thirty degree, but the difference is only two thousand nine hundred and thirty three kilometer. Okay. On other hand, here the difference is same. Okay. Why? The okay. If we see the latitudes, then the difference between the latitudes is four minutes, and longitudes. So latitude, the difference in each latitude is one 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 kilometer. 
between two latitudes. Between two latitudes. Here to here, the distance is one point one kilometer. Yes. So and they all are parallel. Yes. On other hand, if we see the longitudes, then the difference of longitudes we cannot count it in kilometers because here they are very close to each other. So far from each other, and then come closer. Yes. So we count it on the basis of time. That is four minutes. Okay. The difference between two longitudes, two longitudinal lines, is four minutes. In sun, take four minutes to come from one longitudinal line to another longitudinal uh, line. Longitudinal line. Longitudinal. So it is on the basis of minutes. Yes. So here, as as they comes closer, the difference is two thousand nine hundred kilometer. While while here, the difference is three thousand four hundred forty kilometer. Means approximately the difference we see of two hundred kilometer from east, west, and north, south. Though they are thirty degree different yes. extent, even then. That we found a difference of 200 km between them. Yes. Means India is actually a rectangle shape. Rectangle. But if exact shape we can say, then there is, the exact shape is not, uh, we can say it's a quadrilateral shape or we can say in the shape of kite. Yes. It is a kite shape, like a kite yes. shape. That is the shape of India. Okay, so uh, sir, uh, I have a question. Uh -huh, yes. That what is the impact of longitudinal extent of India? How it affect us? Okay, uh, very nice question. Uh, let us do it in the C part. The impacts. India is this much extent we found of longitude and this much extent of latitudinal. Then what are their impact actually on India? Impact of longitude first we will do. Extent of India. So if you see the longitudinal extent is this much. Yes. And as I say you that the difference between longitudes is four, four minutes. minutes. So total longitudes are thirty longitudes in India. Thirty. That means there are total thirty longitudes. Exactly. Multiplied by four is yes. equal to one twenty minutes. Right? Yes. So means from here to here, the difference of India is one twenty minutes. One twenty minutes is equal to two hours. Yes. Means the difference between uh, south to uh, yeah. East to west. East to west is two hours. Two hours. Okay. Now, now. So it, it means uh, uh, if sun rises at four a.m. here, at for example, a. then it rises here. The difference between uh, the yes, yes. The difference uh, the difference between rising of sun in different part of India is different. Yeah, two hours. It means here if you take uh, rises at four a.m. in morning, then here six. Six a.m. Yes. Now, for for example, like we are three friends. Yes. And uh, I am here, you are here, and one of our friends is here. Now yes. you give the responsibility to me yes. that I wake up exactly at four a.m. in the morning because our exam is there. Yes. And then call both of you. Yes. And you both will wake up. Yes. Now when it's four a.m. in my clock, I ring both of you. Yes. But you both angry with me. Our friend, he said that he is late. Yeah. Okay. One hour late. Yes. Why he is one hour? Uh, why I call him one hour late? On other hand, you also angry with me yes. that I call you one hour early. Early. Yes. So it create problems, na? Yes, of course. So to solve this problem, it is best for us to make a single time in the whole country. Okay. And the best for it is the line which goes from center of country, and our line is this line. It is eighty-two deg and a half degree east. Somewhere it is the central line of India. It is near here, Ilabal Mirzapur. Mirzapur is the place from where it goes near yeah. Ilabal. Okay. So this is the line. Now, first impact is clear. Yes, of course. Longitudinal impact. Now the second longitudinal impact uh, uh, that we we discussed. My question is okay. Any question from your side? Why eighty two degree and a half mm -hmm. selected for the timeline, standard time okay. for India? Uh, good question. That why should we select only this eighty two and a half degree as the standard meridian? Yes. Timeline of India, है ना? You can write it. Question. Yes. Why eighty two degree and a half 
selected as a standard meridian line for India standard time. Okay, the question is very nice. Actually, there should be two conditions in it to select a country's timeline. Yes. First is it lies almost in the middle of India. Okay. It lies almost in the center of India. Yes. But that is not enough. Why? There should be second condition also. That line must be well divisible with 7 degree that means no remainder. Why? If we divide 3 to 20 half degree with this, then the remainder is 0. 11 comes the answer. Okay. And 0. Yes, the question is? So why we take uh, uh, such kind of situation? The the latitude must be divided by 7 degree 30 minutes. Yes, uh, your idea. It is actually a, stand, a world standard. Now, if you see the world, then the total lines in the world are 360. Yes. These are 360 lines. Yes. Now, we divide the whole world into different time, different time zones. Yes. And if we divide 7 to 30 minutes to each line, Yes. Then it divided line comes after half an hour. Okay. So means now there are total forty eight time zones in the world. Forty eight time zones. Yes. They are fixed. Okay. Oh, these all forty eight lines are fixed lines, and the country has to choose the nearmost time lines, which goes from that end. Okay. So, so in India. In, no, in, it, in it, India, this it, 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 half, half minute is the timeline which goes not from near to India, it goes actually somewhere from center of India. We are yes. lucky for it and we select it. And that's why and we select uh, it as a timeline. Indian it, standard time. Another one is goes from here and another one goes from here. So it is not yes. possible to select these lines. Yes, of course. So like uh, Sri Lanka is here. Yes. But it is, as I said, that it is not necessary that the line goes middle from it. Yes. That. Uh, Sri Lanka also choose 80 and a half degree as the center line. Okay. But it doesn't go, goes from Sri Lanka. Yes. Means it is not necessary that the line goes from that country. The main thing is that the nearmost line among these also. So I thought Bangladesh also choose yes. this particular line for their yes. time zone. Yes. Bangladesh choose this line. Same line and they also choose this line also. They also choose uh, that one. That one. But before they choose, change their timelines half an hour earlier and half an hour before. But now, at present, is their time, they choose their timeline in this one. Why? They, uh, that they, what they think that this is, this is near, then near, near, to them. Half, yeah, near to them. Then oh. it will be half. Similarly, for Pakistan, this is best. Yes. Uh, this is half an hour early. Uh, uh, later. Before, so yes, before later. from late from us. Yes. Uh, so they choose this line. Yes. So means a country has to choose only these forty-two lines. Okay. Any one line from this implement. But it's not necessary that they have to choose only one line. As I said you that there are many countries which are very large, especially there are many countries who are longitudinally extent of the extent. Area. Too much extent like Russia. There are eleven time zones in Russia. Eleven time zones. Yes. They, the country is divided into 11 different time zones. Okay. So it is not possible to divide country into one time zone. Yes. Because it is, if there is morning and then it is night here on the other side of the Russia. And similarly, there are four time zones of America. Four oh, time zones in America. America also. So it depends on the country. There are only few countries who has many time zones. Otherwise, the rest countries has only one time zone. Yes. And in world, the major time zone is this one, zero degree. This is known as the GMT, Greenwich Mean Time, yes. world time. So this area is come first. It, it is plus from the GMT, and this one is the minus from GMT. Yes. Late from the GMT. Sun comes from first here, and then on GMT, and then to the western world. So longitudinal impact is clear. Yes. 
longitudinal impact we see that first impact is that india is not too much though 30 degree but it is not 3000 km long yes it is less than 3000 km yes and the second impact we see is the time about time yes. that yes. why should we select which the half degree as its time zone yes. now let us come your second question you asked me is the impact of longitudinal right yes Latitude. Latitude, no, sorry. If you see the latitudinal extent of India, then Kanyakumari is near to the equator. Okay. Long latitudinal extent we see from 8 degree to 37 degree. Yes. This is the latitudinal extent. Yes. Now, 8 degree is near to equator. Yes. And this is far from equator. So, the first effect we see is the in the temperature. So, that the In Kanyakumari, what we see is uh, temperature is high. Yes, of course. And first is the high temperature. And the second thing is the day and nights are equal. Approximately the day and nights are equal here in Kanyakumari. At Kanyakumari. Because it is near to equator. Yes. Therefore, the day and nights are approximately equal. If we see the difference in day and nights, then the difference is 45 minutes only. Means okay. the longest day and the longest night. If we see the difference between the longest day and longest night, then the difference comes 45 only minutes. Only 45 Only or 45 minutes here in the Kanyakumari. But on other hand, Kashmir is too far. It is too far from equator. So first thing is low temperature. Yes. Temperature is low here. And the second thing we found is here is that the day and nights are not equal. Here we found five hours difference. Okay, so it's a very huge difference. Yes. The it same. Yes. If you see the nights in during winter, then they are very long nights. While in summer, days are too long. Okay. So the difference between the days, the days and the nights during summer and winters are approximately five, five hours. hours. So this is the impact we see here in latitudinal extent of India. Latitudinal extent of India. That's all in the second part of the chapter. From your side, you can ask me any question. No, my dear, all the doubts my, my, my yeah. all the doubts are clear. Yes. Even then, if there is any kind of doubt, you can consult to us. Okay. Or you yes. can send your comment also. Or you can visit to my blog, which is between dogra dot blogspot dot okay. So that's all in this chapter. Thank you. Thank you.